Hello all, welcome back to my channel. It's Futurey here with another video. And in this video, I'm showing how I got these nails. This is a birthday gift right here for me. Come along. All right, so we are going to start with my nails. These are my birthday nails. I've already done my hair. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the photos that I took of myself for my birthday. I think in a previous video, I shared that I try not to do purple nails too often, and that is because purple is my favorite color. And if I had it my way, I would do purple nails more often. And so I try not to do them as much so that I can change things up. And whenever I have special days like my birthday, I can make a really, really pretty purple nails. And that's what I did for this time. So I wanted my nails to be purple and glittery. I wanted them to have a little bit of gold in it because I knew that the outfit I was going to be wearing for my birthday was black and gold and I was going to have purple accents. So that's what I was going for with this nail set. In this video, I did start with my right hand. I am doing my right hand with my left hand. My right hand is my dominant hand and my left hand is my non-dominant hand. So I'm starting on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. So yeah, fun stuff. But I also find that starting with my um, dominant hand with my non-dominant hand can be a little bit easier because by the time I start doing my other hand, I am a little bit tired and I do not want to do the hand that requires more work of me while I am tired. So when I am my freshest, when I am like eager and ready to go, <laughs> as far as doing my nails goes, I generally start on my harder hand, which is my dominant hand because yeah, my left hand kind of be doing its own thing. And as you can see, what I generally do is I'll pick up, um, I'll be holding my brush with the hand that I'm not working with. I will pick up a bead of acrylic and then move it over into my other hand. So um, I think you've seen that already a few times, but I will hold my brush with my right hand, pick up a bead of acrylic with the brush in my right hand and then I'll transfer the brush into my left hand to lay it down on my nail and that is very helpful because um I can make sure that my beads are consistent as, and exactly as I want them to be and then I just have to worry about applying it with my other hand so yeah <laughs> so I am a valentine's baby and so I did this nail set not this past weekend but the weekend before that and I was hoping to have this video out last week but I guess I just had too much fun on my birthday so it's not coming out until this week so this is the nail set that I wore for my birthday as well as Valentine's Day now on to what I use for this nail set as you can see I did do a couple of French nail beds I am using Cover Rose from Mia Secret for those. And then this purple that I'm using is from Model Ones. And the glitter is just a loose glitter I have in my collection. I probably got it from like Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Joann's or, you know, anywhere that has loose glitter. <laughs> oh, and I should say that I did just freehand the French nail beds and I did not um, file the nail bed after I finished freehanding them. If you want your French nail bed to look pretty crisp, you should go ahead and file them if you are going to freehand them. But if not, you can use a French cutter tool and that works pretty well too. I have other videos showing using a French cutter tool, a pretty cool um, little device and when I used to get my nails done at, at the nail salon I used to get acrylic pink and whites and they would use the same tool so whenever I found them on Amazon a few years ago I was like yay but as I've worked with acrylic more and more I really like to freehand my French <laughs> so now that my right hand is done, I'm moving on to my left hand. And first things first, I wanted to do some encapsulated purple roses. I laid down a small bead of acrylic on my middle finger. I laid down two small beads on my middle finger. And I'm using this little $1 acrylic brush that I got. This brush is from like a beauty supply store. And it is my favorite like 3D brush. 
I don't know why that is. It's I'm sure it's 100% not <laughs> Kalinsky hair. It is probably, you know, a synthetic brush, but like, and I think it's the only synthetic brush that I have, but I really like it. I don't, I don't know why that is. I've purchased other like 3D brushes that I just don't like as much. I grab this one whenever I'm going for 3D art when I'm looking to like make flowers and stuff. To make these petals as thin as possible, as well as to make, make sure this nail stays as thin as possible, I'm going to go ahead and only use three petals. So I'm going to be using two outside petals, and then I'm going to be using one bead in the center that will be the center of the flower. I will go in with a little bit of a foil around the flowers to add a little bit more color to the nail. And then I'm going to be encapsulating the whole thing. Now, on to the other nails. Fun stuff. So I'm going to do a full nail of purple on my ring finger. I'm going to be doing a purple to um, glitter ombre on my pinky nail. On my pointer finger, it will be a French nail that will have purple and glitter, and it'll be a little bit glassy at the bottom as I keep the bottom of the pointer finger clear. I really like these nails, and I was a little sad whenever I had to cut them off the other day, but, you know, it's a new week, so, of course, I've already redone my nails again. <laughs> As for the length of these nails, I did not cut anything off of these nails. I did just um, file the tips just a little bit, but I kept these nails at the full length that they come, or the nail tips at the full length that they come. I generally don't use nail tips that are much longer than this, but these are my favorite nail tips, and they are from Amazon, and they are linked down below. If you're looking for some really good natural nail tips these like I said they are natural nail tips they're not c-curve nail tips they're not impress nail tips they are natural nail tips which means they do have a slight curve to them and I really like that because my nails actually grow a little bit upwards meaning that they're not flat nails and because they grow um, upwards whenever I put on like a c-curve or like a flat nail tip the nail tip bends and it goes upward but using these tips that have a natural curve to them i am able to correct my nails if that makes sense and then i can also make sure my nails kind of look like claws i like my nails to look like claws i think that's far more natural than you know having a c-curve nail tip because i don't have c-curve nail beds so yeah <laughs> All right, now that most of the colored acrylic has been applied, I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate these nails. Then it will be on to the fun stuff, which is filing, shaping, and buffing. Look, there we have both hands. Each finger is like a little different. I'm also going to be using some chains on these nails for a little extra embellishment these are what i call kitchen sink nails they have everything but the kitchen sink in them of course we have colored acrylic we have glitter in the end we're going to have chains on the nails i've used foil in these nails i did 3d art that i did encapsulate like really what else is there like i've done everything ombres frenches like come on it, everything but the kitchen sink in these nails <laughs> These chains that I'm using, I did get these chains from Amazon. They came in like a pretty nicely sized package. There are gold chains, black chains, and I think silver chains in the set that I got. I am using these gold chains because I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this particular type before. I don't know, but I thought that they were really cute. I will say whenever it comes to chains, they can snag on your clothes. So be careful when you are cutting them. I did use cuticle nippers to cut the chain to the exact size that I wanted it to be. And I used um, nail gel glue to, I'm sorry, that's nail diamond glue on my nail before applying it. And then I cured that that down on there 
after I did cure that, I did put a little bit of nail glue on top of that. And I top coated all the rest of the nails and this is the final look of this nail set. Here is my left hand. And then we're going to have my right hand. And lastly, I will show you some of the photos that I took of myself for my birthday last week. I hope you enjoyed. And at the end of this video, I might throw in some shout outs from previous nail sets that I've done on my birthday. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.